Mic check one, two. This is the morning announcements with Bomani Arma on July 26, 2023. We are pouring libations for Muriel Sutherland Snowden, celebrating Liberia's Independence Day and learning about the writing process and mind mapping in the bars writing system. Make sure to like, share, follow, and subscribe. Go to the video details for links to anything discussed in the show. Let's get started. One. Two, one, two, three, four. Welcome everyone to the morning announcement. I'ma say my name so you can pronounce it. Bo, ma, ni, ar, ma. Shout out to early risers. I see who you are. My morning ritual. Thanks for having me over. Start with audio, visual, those the same code for my favorite occasions a few moons away. I'm counting rotations to watermelon day. If you're with me this morning, I hope that you're with it. Two things that I want and three ways to get it. Black solidarity, African independence. Honor the ancestors, prepare descendants. Third thing you gotta do is love right now. I mean that in every sense and every way you know how. Now throw them up and say what should increase on one Three, peace. Right, mic. mic check, one, two, one, two, mic check. Welcome to the morning announcements with Bomani Arma on Wednesday, July 26, 2023. I am Bomani Arma, and we are 10 days away from Watermelon Day at Sankofa. We are here to honor, honor the ancestors, ancestors prepare, prepare the descendants, and, and love, love right, right now. now. Make sure to like, follow, share, and subscribe on Facebook and YouTube. Shout out to my partners broadcasting the morning announcements, including Bloom Bars, Story Tapestries, and Sankofa Video and Books. Go to the links in the description to find out more. Let's get into today's libation. Today's libation is for Muriel Sutherland Snowden. Muriel Muriel Sutherland Snowden, July 14th, 1916 to September 30th, 1988. She was the founder and co-director of Freedom House, a community improvement center in Roxbury, Massachusetts. She is, together with her husband, Otto P. Snowden, a major figure in Boston history and activism. The Snowdens founded Freedom House, an organization that advocated for self-help and integration for African-Americans in Boston's Roxbury neighborhood in 1949. After operating Freedom House out of her home for three years, the Snowdens purchased a building that previously housed the Hebrew Teachers College on Crawford Street in Roxbury to serve as its permanent location. Let's read this quote from Muriel Snowden. We decided long ago we weren't going anywhere and we were going to stay here. This is a commitment. You have a direction, a feeling about where you're going. Muriel Snowden. Let me read that quote again. We decided long ago we weren't going anywhere and we're going to stay here. This is a commitment. You have a direction, a feeling about where you're going. Muriel Snowden. I love learning about women like Muriel. It makes my heart happy that her family and community have kept her legacy alive. Erica Badu once sang, don't be naming no buildings after me to go down dilapidated. Muriel named her own building the Freedom House while she was alive and tasked her Roxbury community to keep it together. They have based on the foundation Muriel set. There are now they are there's now an international school named after her dedicated to bringing self-sufficiency to the black people of her community. The kind of work that fortifies a neighborhood for generations. Thank you, Muriel Snowden. Let's pour a libation for Muriel Snowden. We never forget, so never fear for homies who ain't here, we pouring out a beer. Because of you, it'll never be the same. We keep saying your name while we pour champagne. For the mothers and the father figures, your flames to flickers, we pouring out some liquor. We're the sons and the daughters of heroes and martyrs, honor you by pouring out some water. Friends, today's libation is for one Miss Muriel Snowden. Thank y'all once again for joining me. I appreciate the support we have here at the morning announcements. A quick reminder to join me on August 5th for Watermelon Day. August 5th from 3 p.m. to 8 p.m. is our annual celebration of, of summertime, watermelon and everything red, black, and green. There will be family-friendly performances. There will be free watermelon, all happening at Sankofa Video and Books. Uh, that is 2714 Georgia Avenue. We are celebrating Watermelon Day 2023 by selling this special Watermelon Day t-shirt designed by James and Zudeka Terrell. You can find more information about that in the link in the description or go to notarapper.com. 
Watermelondaytees.com to get your own Watermelon Day 2023 t-shirt. This is being sold as a fundraiser. We would love your support planting a seed into Watermelon Day. All right, friends, since we did our libation for Muriel Snowden and I was talking about how the organization she founded is still going on, I want to play their 2022 recap video. This is Freedom House in Massachusetts, the organization founded in 1949 by Muriel Snowden and her husband. Uh, let's see what they're up to. This is a place of compassion. Young people come through these doors, they know that it is a safe haven. It is a place of community, a place where young people can find their voices, a place where they know that they can come and get the encouragement, the love and to support, and to know that they can do anything in this life. Anything is possible for them. And whichever one you feel like you would go to. We stick to a common value of instilling inspiration in our youth, encouraging them to graduate from high school and college, um, to be able to go off into a career that it, they enjoy, and then also reminding them where they came from and encouraging them to come back and give back. Life has thrown certain um, circumstances and conditions at these kids that most of us wouldn't be able to, to cope with. They cope with it, they succeed, and Freedom House helps them focus on what's important, how to get over what it is that has been giving them trouble, and then helps them to move on into really productive lives. Freedom House has been a strong advocate for equity in education, um, and it's a pillar in the community, not just for families, but for young people. Coming from Haiti, um, one of the things that a lot myself and a lot of other immigrants have in common is that we join a country that uh, the educational system is very different. Um, and to have an organization that is there for you to sort of guide you was perhaps one of the most uh, important part of my life. Um, the coaches at Freedom House, they go above and beyond the staff in general and the organization based on how it's set up and what its role is, um, continues to be um, a standard organization. Freedom House, keep doing what you're doing. Um, kids need you out here. We need more programs like this. It's getting harder to raise children right now with everything they're seeing. So, it, you know, it's great to have Freedom House to stick behind them through a lot of things. And they do follow them through outside college, uh, when they're like on their own, parents, you know, they still communicate with these people. And it's really wonderful to see them thriving in, a, in this environment and getting the help and coaching that they need and um, watching them thrive beyond these walls. And they're really the legacy of Freedom House. So that's truly the best part. Freedom House is important because for many people, this is where they feel community. And I know that that was the case for me. The first time I ever felt like I was a part of um, my community, a part of my city, was when I joined, um, when I joined uh, as a member here, as a student, and now as a, a young professional. I'm proud to say that this is where I come from. Freedom House raised me. Uh, into the person I am today. The staff is very unique at Freedom House. And when I have conversations about our staff, they are amazing, <laughs> dynamic, committed individuals that bring their experience and in life into these doors. I think it's a testament to the culture here and culture that's been cultivated uh, over the last uh, seven plus decades and there's something that continues to exist here and that's that love for people and community. So our tagline fits so perfectly when we think about each and every individual that is connected to this organization and there's a circle closing that we do with our young people and it goes one, two, three, freedom. Four, five, six, house, seven, eight, nine, family. And that's not just lip service. We truly represent this organization as a family. 
There we go. Freedom House 2022 is still doing its thing. 2023 is moving forward. Thank y'all very much for paying attention here at the morning announcements. I love highlighting people who are doing work. Um, Muriel Snowden is still doing work in our community, even though she passed in 1988. So once again, let's pour libation for Muriel Sutherland Snowden. You saw her picture in that video as they're upholding her legacy. I really appreciate when people do that. So thank you very much. All right, friends, let's keep this moving. All right. Today, we are celebrating the Independence Day of Liberia. Liberia's Independence Day is today, 726. Uh, I believe it's Independence Day is 1847. I'm about to bring on my homegirl, Elsie Honey. She's the one I trust to give me the information as she plays the national anthem of Liberia. Friends, here is Elsie Honey. <laughs> Honey playing the national anthem of Liberia. Now, friends, you know how I like to do this. I am now going to read the lyrics to the national anthem of Liberia. It is called All Hail Liberia, written by Daniel Bichelle Warner and composed by Olmsted Luca. All hail Liberia, all hail. This glorious land of liberty shall long be ours. Though new her name, green be her fame, and mighty be her powers, and mighty be her powers. In joy and gladness with our hearts united, we will shout the freedom of a race benighted. Long live Liberia, happy land, and home of glorious liberty by God's command. All hail Liberia, hail, all hail. In union strong, success is sure, we cannot fail. With God above, our rights to prove, we will or or all we will or all prevail. We will or all prevail. With heart in hand, our country's case defending. We'll meet the foe with valor unpretending. Long live Liberia, a home of glorious liberty by God's command. Friends, that was All Hail Liberia, the national anthem of Liberia. Happy um, happy anniversary to the independence of Liberia. Thank you all very much for joining us for the program. All right, friends, I have one more thing that I want to do. I think we've honored the ancestors and prepared the descendants. I think we've done all three things on our motto. Um, but I want to make sure you understand what I do as a living. And so I'm going to bring another introduction into the Frederick Douglass Writing Club. We've been talking about this all week. And the Frederick Douglass Writing Club, it includes a bunch of things. This is a picture of me taking my 11 and 12 year olds who were part of the first Frederick Douglass Writing Club on a trip to Frederick Douglass's house. We have been writing for freedom since 1838. We consider our founding date the day, the year Frederick Douglass um, escaped slavery because he wrote in order to escape slavery. Uh, we concentrate on a lot of things. We use the four elements, elements of hip hop, DJing, breaking, MCing, and graffiti. We use the three R's of education, rhythm, rhyme, and repetition. All right. That is a huge part of the bar's curriculum. And I want to be famous for this quote one day. Rapping is the art and engineering of language divided by math. All right. Now, to make sure my students are prepared, I make sure they know the three rules of creative writing, which we did yesterday. Um, and then I also make sure they understand that a well-written essay resembles a well-written song. 
All right. So we go through all that. On the first day I did, my name is Baba Bomani. Now I'm going to break down for you the writing process. There are five steps of the writing process. Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing. I have to admit, I think this is the money maker. This is the reason teachers invite me back. I have their students all memorizing the, the five steps of the writing process using rhythm, rhyme, and repetition. I'm going to redo this video one day. I was still making this video when I was learning what I was doing, but this really captures the essence of what I do as an art integration um, teacher. Uh, friends, here is the writing process. Baba Bomani. BabaGapBars.com. When I do a show or an assembly, a student always comes up to me and asks, how do I take my ideas and turn them into a song? I told them it's the writing process. They usually ask, what's the writing process? So I realized I needed to use the writing process to write a song about the writing process. Are you following me? Let's do this. When I want to write something and my thoughts are all a mess I put it all together with the writing process I got thoughts I must express or issues I must address The way to do it best is the writing process Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing Publishing. When I'm pre-writing, I'm brainstorming what's gonna happen So before I start rapping, I begin by mind mapping Start by writing down on paper everything I feel like telling No worries about grammar, punctuation, handwriting or spelling Now, my ideas in pieces, this is the genesis I'm turning my research into a working thesis Once I've gathered ideas, then I make an outline This works for letters, essays, book speeches or rhymes The audience and the purpose sets me on the right path the right who path. am i writing for and what arguments do i have with those questions asked i make my first draft there's no exact answer this ain't science or math to perfect the tone and style i must revise it so i read it i see what else is needed and what needs to be deleted like a garden when you water it and weed it then i repeat it no reason to feel defeated you'll know when it's completed when i wanna write something and my thoughts are all a mess i put it all together with the writing process i got thoughts i must express or issues i must address the way to do it best is the writing process Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing. 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 I've done pre-writing, drafting, revising, and I reread it. Now I put that polish on it cause I'm gonna edit I proofread and correct errors in grammar and mechanics This part can be a terror but there is no need to panic Let me tell you what I'm gonna do I take my time and read it through I find another writer to give it to Because four eyes are better than two I make edits to improve on the clarity and style Remember to be patient because this might take a while I can publish it in so many ways Print it out on a page Read it at class or on stage Depends on the audience I Want to engage in email blast, television broadcast, an article with photographs, or my podcast, maybe a performance with a cast. Most important thing is that I get it out and that I'm clear on what I'm talking about. So when I get on the microphone and put it on a track, you can bounce your head to the writing process when you play it back. When I wanna write something and my thoughts are all a mess, I put it all together with the writing process. I got thoughts I must express or issues I must address. The way to do it best is the writing process. Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing. 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 Yeah, that's it, y'all. Follow those five steps. Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing. And you'll be a better writer. Let's run this one more time. Uh, yeah. Pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing. Publishing, pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing, pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing, pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, publishing.
friends. That was the writing process. I'm thinking back, man, those kids in that video are probably high schoolers now. I hope I created some monsters, some people with some self-confidence and some writing skills and who are unafraid to tell you who they are and who their community empowers them to be. Um, so friends, after going through the writing process with my students, we start writing a rhyme about ourselves. I'm about to open up my version of the writing process journal. Um, this is my copy. We have the lyrics here for pre-writing. When I'm pre-writing, I'm brainstorming what's going to happen. I'm not going to read the whole thing because you just heard the song. But pre-writing, this is the planning phase of the writing process. When students brainstorm, research, gather, and outline ideas, often using diagrams for mapping out their thoughts. Audience and purpose should be considered at this point. And for the older students, a working thesis statement needs to be started. Now, friends, I'm going to break down a little bit more about mind mapping. To help us get the idea out of our head and onto paper, we can use a mind mapping chart. This can be used to chart something as short as a sentence or bar, up to a paragraph or verse, up to an entire song or essay. To use the mind map, follow these steps. One, decide what the main idea of your writing is. If it's a classroom assignment, it should be spelled out clearly. If it's for your own writing, you get to decide. And write that main idea in the middle circle. Come up with as many things as you can you can think of that support the main idea. Think of things that are additional information or further the narrative. Write them all down in the bubbles outside of the main idea. Now choose a keyword that would plug into the rhyme tree. We'll get into what the rhyme tree is. Try this yourself by filling out the mind map on page nine. The keyword is the word in the idea or couplet that you decide is the most important, most interesting, or can rhyme with most easily or interestingly. Selecting one name from your mind map to be your first keyword and one place to be the second keyword. Those will be your keywords. These words will become basis for our couplet. Now, friends, to give you more of an idea how we're going to do this, let me show it to you. My mind map. In the middle of my mind map is going to be my main idea. All right. Now, my main idea, since this is a classic hip hop song and hip hop artists, their number one job is to brag about themselves and where they're from. Um, I want you to put the word name and the word place. All right. Now, I want you to brainstorm all the words that all the names that you have. I need your real name, your nickname, your middle name, the name your mama called you when you were in trouble, your Roblox name, your Fortnite name. I'm talking to adults. So your club name or that rapper name you always wanted, like little problems or young issues. Friends, these are the answers that I give. My real name is Bomani. My students call me Bo. No, my friends call me Bo. My students call me Baba. I go by a few rapper names. The two that I like telling my students the most are the Watermelon Man and the Hip Hop LeVar Burton. And also remember, handwriting does not matter on the mind map, all right? I usually have to break down who LeVar Burton is for my students, but that's fine. I'm going to teach a whole master class on the brilliance of LeVar Burton. Second question, place, where are you from? I have to tell my middle schoolers, make sure you don't put home all right i need to know your neighborhood your town your state your country your hemisphere you can tell me what planet you're from all right here are my answers from where i'm from i was born in prince george's county we call it pg i was raised in washington the district of columbia we call it dc my parents and grandparents are from a small african country called south carolina um my ancestors are from africa i have lived most of my life on earth and Earth is in the Milky Way. Now, friends, when I see y'all tomorrow, I'm going to take y'all into the next step of the mind map, and we're going to create a rhyme. Um, thank y'all for joining me. I'm glad to be able to highlight what I do for a living for y'all on this weekday morning. Um, I'm really understanding even better what this show is supposed to be. It's just me curating positive blackness and make sure I serve it to you on a weekday morning. So thank y'all very much. Make sure you come out August 5th for Watermelon Day. I'm really excited about it. I'm going to get the watermelon watermelons very soon um i have one more thing to do and that is to play the black national anthem lift every voice and sing by james weldon johnson and j rosamond johnson here we go
friends, that was the Black National Anthem, Lift Every Voice and Sing by James Weldon Johnson and Jay Rosamond Johnson. That is my time. Friends, I hope you have a wonderful day. There are three things that I want you to do today. Honor, honor the ancestors, honor the ancestors prepare, prepare the descendants, the descendants and, and love and right, right, right now. now. Friends, at the count of three, I need everyone to say peace, throw up the deuces, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. One, two, three. Peace. See y'all soon. Melon is sweet, the water is life. So every time we meet, I'ma give you a slice. Cause I'm the watermelon man. I'm the watermelon man. I got the juice and plant the seeds. I reap the fruit and give you what you need. Cause I'm the watermelon man. I'm the watermelon man. It's the watermelon man. Reppin' red, black, and green. The county of PG sends you greetings from D.